because you can't judge a book by its cover, but you can judge a racist by a Jim Beam jacket, right? <laughs> I felt really uncomfortable when you made that comparison with me and a refugee because I, I feel like it's so unfair because in that comparison, I'm quite privileged, right? When referring to one of the good ones, the reality is I'm one of the lucky ones, right? I'm lucky that my parents were able to afford to send me to Australia. I'm lucky that they paid for everything from my education to my rent to my food, which was the highest expense. <laughs> This is how much this country changed me. Like, I may have been raised in Colombo, but this part is Aussie. Do you know what I mean? When I got to the country, people told me that they will, Australia will grow on you. I didn't think it'd be literal, right? I basically traded in my six pack for a goon bag. That's what happened there. <laughs> I like how some of you went with it, but some of you are like, Duh. I want to look away, but I can't. And some of you are like, mm, I don't think he's ever had a six pack. No, I've never had a six-pack, no. <laughs>